Okay, folks, this is uh, a model that we're going to create and then set up a drawing in Onship. So uh, it's taken from the World of Graphics or Done the Graphic, and you have an orthographic shown here. And the key measurements the, and the plan, you can see it's 74 in this direction here. If you follow the cursor, the depth there is 50, 225s, and then the overall height of it is 56. So to get going on this, uh, I need to go to my on shape. I need to create. Uh, create a document. And I guess we'll call this here World of Graphics. Uh, it's page 207. And it's uh, question 2. So I'll create that and we'll put it, I'll put it, I have a graphics folder here, but it doesn't really matter. Just, you just create the document. And when this comes up for me here now, I'm going to pick a view to draw on. I, I can start actually by drawing on the top plane and the way that I'm going, I'll hit the letter N to go normal to. I'll hit sketch. I'm going to pick a center point rectangle. Drag this out. Put in. Make sure it's in the origin, and I'll click the side here. Make it 74. And the depth of this object is 50. Actually, I might change the dimensions right away. Put the 74 in this direction, and then put the 50 actually at the bottom it might affect the way it comes out in the isometric. So we'll go 50. And you can see there is my front plane. And I have it 50 and 74. I'm going to call this or rename this here sketch of the base. I'll OK that. I'm going to extrude it. Click on the object that I want the base that I want to extrude. And I'm going to take that to a height of 56. And that there is the extrude of the base. Okay, that. Now, that solid object there, I guess, if I turn that into isometric. Yeah, okay, so it's shown. Uh, I have to pick a spot, I suppose, that I want to have that um, around. And I've actually gone the wrong way in it. It's very easy to change this anyway. I'll just change it. I thought it would have helped me putting it that way, but I've put it the wrong way. So I'll put it edit the base again and I'll just switch them around. It's 74 and 50. I'll OK that. And I've got back to this here and I go to my view. I want to take this shape here out of things. So you can see that's at a 30 degree angle. You can see the general shape. That's what I'm going to start with anyway. On this side here, I'm going to go normal to that there. I'll bring it in a bit more to focus. I'm going to sketch on that. I'll not name it just yet. Well, actually, I'll name it. I suppose I'm going to cut that piece out. So I'll call cut out. And I need to take a line here. Start from the corner, run along that. Take a vertical line, you can see the little symbol showing that it's vertical. Take it out to the edge there and link it back up. I'll hit escape. Now I know this angle here is supposed to be 30 degrees, so I'll go into my dimension. Click on that, click on the bottom and turn that 30 degrees. Go back into my view here, I can see that the height of that point is 32 up. So that's a wee bit, that's where I want to get there. So the height of this, ah, get that now we dimension. So we'll take the height. Actually, I could take the height 24 of that other one would be probably easier. So I will go here. I don't know why that's not picking on it right for me. 
and I'll go 24. And I need to have something down here as well too, so there's a height. It's actually on the corner, and I didn't draw it from the corner. So I'm going to click that, and that. I'll escape out of me dimension 2, click that point, and click that point. And I want to do them be coincident. So now that's got my sizes in. What have I done? I've just drawn that shape on the front face of it. So I'll OK that. Then I'll hit the uh, extrude. I want to remove this. I want to remove it to halfway. And it's, as it turns out, it's 25. So that works out all right for me. So that's the extrude of the cut out. I'll OK that. And now I have my object basically drawn there in uh, on shape. So that's the model. I guess I may as well put on a couple of um, colors here, similar to the last time. So I'm going to pick that surface and that surface because that's what we'd see when we'd look in from the elevation. And it doesn't really matter what color I pick here. I'm going to pick a really light purple. That's, that's actually drawn the whole part. See, I don't really want that. I just want it doesn't matter. I'll leave it. I'll leave it like that. But I'm going to pick to a different surface now that I would see when I'd be looking from the uh, looking down in the plan. So I'll pick them two surfaces there and I'll OK that. I want to pick these two guys when I'm looking in from the end, and I will pick a different color, something like green maybe. So when I be looking in from that side, the sloping surface, I'm seeing it from looking at the top. So the colours are showing what I would see when I'm looking from each of the views. So like if I go top and then if I go up, it to be go front. So that's all the colours are doing there is matching each of those. Got that. So I have my object there. I didn't name it. Rename it. I'm just going to call it isometric 2. And I'll go down to the plus at the corner. I'm going to create a drawing. And the drawing that I'm going to create is using my basic drawing template that I have in here for you. So I'll OK that. Uh, it's taking a wee second to load up. And I'm going to insert. I'm going to pick the isometric 2 part here. When I come over here, you can see it's breaking it as the front up here. And judging by the way it was in the drawing from the book, I'm going to put it over here on the right hand side here. So that's elevation, that's the plan. And I'll take my end view here. Now, that's fine. That's the elevation plan end view. I want to insert isometric. So instead of front, bring it down, bring in the isometric. And now, this is why I was drawn it the other way, because it, it kind of flips it around, which is not great. So I'm going to go for a projected view because the details are in the wrong way. So I'm going to take picked elevation, bring it, drag it out here, try and space all the stuff on the sheet a little bit better. See, if I move that down, everything should move with it. And that's my elevation plan and view, and then my isometric. You can see the isometric 2 has come in as the title there, because that's the way the sheet is set up. I'm going to pick a line here. To put in as my XY line. Escape it. Hit the notes part. Now I'm going to change this to 6. And I'll type in elevation. Not worried about its placement just get them drawn. Now this 
is the wrong size but this should give me the option of going to 6 I'll put in my note, change the size to start with and that's end view and the la second last thing I'll do here, well uh, that's isometric, isometric view and again I forgot to put in change the size so I'll highlight it put in 6 and now I want to move to my X I'll change that to 6 it didn't change it for me go 6 ok that I'll go over here and I'll do the same thing again I'm not worried about the placement size or the size is the only thing I'm bothered about I'll ok that and then I'll just go down here you put your name in whatever in here, the title I suppose if there was a name to the object I've just put that in as isometric too I'll leave that clear for the moment so we're doing this here, something I like to do is I like to throw in a line horizontal line escape, add escape to bring it away and I like to kind of align this up to the left hand side and the line that I've drawn here as a reference should keep me somewhat right on where the the two views are written in so there's a little bit of gap between that I'm happy with that I'm going to delete that line so I had just highlighted at backspace and I'm going to move the plan as well too to be in line with that so what roughly looks like the plan looks a little bit closer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the two of these guys move them up a wee bit and keep the left alignment so now the elevation plan all looks pretty much the same uh, distance away and I'll move the isometric a wee bit over only thing left to finish here would be my X and Y you can see the way this box I can I can actually drag the box in so it's not taking up so much room it might be easier for the placement of the Y can kind of center that same thing for the X just down that wee box move it roughly uh, get in closer move it closer to the center that's your X, Y, that's your elevation plan and view uh, if I wanted to I could click on my isometric view right click and show shaded view and it should bring in my colors and just to add another wee bit of a layer to this here I'm going to pick a dimension, dimension tool I'm going to drag this off here and it's got its size and I'll just put in the main dimensions on this here and I want to try and keep them all roughly the same distance away from the object as well there's an angle in there wasn't there that was 30 degrees now see the way the wee symbol comes up there I can take that back to just the 30 itself which looks better I had escape these guys can be dragged and moved you see the top and the bottom now have come in line and they look roughly probably a wee bit wider maybe there we go the two of them so they look reasonably well spaced they look like they're in the center I probably could have after undoing that seems a bit better yeah we have the two that there's our main dimensions of the object elevation plan and views all written in if I wanted to change these uh, sizes of the the units of measurement I can go into the spanner tool here and if I want to say the text height I wasn't happy with that and I thought could do it you know a little bit bigger I'll change it to five and you see it's increased it up the arrows as well too I should be able to change the arrowheads here as well the arrowheads could be a wee bit bigger maybe put them up to four and it's increased the size of the arrowheads make them look a bit more visible maybe even five and that as well 
so you can see what it's done there so by changing that it does help and the overall view of the object itself so that's that